Well, what's up guys all right we're back again we're gonna quickly run through how to use the radar now so we're gonna go through the uh, radar mode called rws or range while scan all right we're gonna do a quick tutorial on that and we'll make another one on tws or twiz track while scan so first things first let's get our radar on and we're gonna cycle our data link page out all right so here we go we've got a contact there so i'm just using the key ones we went through in the last uh, the last video, so we're gonna have a look and see if we can find this guy. 0.5 Mac Angels 24.5. I'm gonna bump this up here, and we're going to turn that radar off for a second just to show you guys what's going down. So, all right, first thing we want to go through rainfall scan. How do you change the modes? So, you've got TWS, RWS. Okay, so rainfall scan and track while scan. We're gonna go through RWS right here. So the only thing you really need to worry about with uh, rainfall scan, okay, we want to figure out how to, we're going to go through how to change the elevation of your radar, what it's currently looking at, and we're going to go through those right now. So your controls for that are radar elevation control up, radar elevation control down, uh, throttle, throttle designated controller depress, and then either throttle designated controller down, left right up or you can come over to your axis commands if you've got a little slewable joystick on your hotas like i do on the, the thrustmaster warthog throttle uh you're going to assign tdc throttle designated control horizontal and vertical axis assign those and that will let you slew around your radar okay so my radar's off right now i'm going to use this guy with the sa page we know he's at angels 24.6 he's doing 0.5 mac he's flying towards me because his little tail is pointing in my direction and i know that he is 14 nautical miles from me and okay, we went through that on the last video so now we're gonna slew our radar so these two numbers here minus 14 minus 78 so that's the angle or the the top elevation so currently because i just slewed my radar all the way down turn him on radar is all the way slewed down uh, we're going to go to 60 degrees sweep there, so we're covering him a bit better. So at the moment, my radar is looking at minus 14,000 feet into the ground. Okay, so I've slewed my radar all the way down, is looking straight down. All right, so it's effectively not going to see shit, okay, because it's looking, it's not, not uh, configured properly. Even though I can see this guy here, all right, just because I see this is what I see everyone stuff up a lot. They've got their data link page on down here on the SA page. So whatever shows up on here gets transposed onto your radar display. All right, but just because he's there doesn't mean that my radar sees him. So I see a lot of people, you know, they they move their TDC cursor over and they're like, cool, there's the bandit, let's go. Lock, press TDC to press. Radar's going, yep, there's no one there, mate, because uh, I'm looking at minus 14,000 feet. All right, so we need to change this number to match this guy's altitude. So we're gonna go radar elevation up. All right, we've got another contact there, it's just popped up. All right, so we, we didn't see that guy before on Dartling. He's just popped up because our radar picked him up. So he's at Angels 4.5. This guy though, we still can't see because remember we need to get to 24,000 feet. So we're gonna keep going radar elevation up. Bam, there we go. Now you can tell when you've got a radar, uh, radar or your radar can see them because it will show these two these bricks okay so when it's a brick there your radar actually sees the target and then if you mouse over with your tdc it will give you the same information you can get off of the uh the data link page as if you stepped it okay so if i step i can see there 0 0.4 4.5 all right, it's giving me the same angel. Even though the uh, the speed is a little bit out of whack, I'm in active pause at the moment, so that might be what's doing it, but it transposes their angels and stuff for you when you mouse over, okay? So now, we're gonna go ahead and go through the how to lock someone up with the, the radar. So there's two different types of lock in Rainfall Scan. So you're gonna press TDC to press once. All right, so now, if I unpause this, Active pause, we're gonna go ahead and hook over, get him into our HUD. You can see there he is. That's our guy. Alright, so we're flying straight at him. And let's go ahead and 
pause again, active pause. So let's have a quick look at a couple of things here on the radar, on the HUD now. So we've got him locked up in latent track while scan or L-Twiz mode. So he's soft locked. So we've got him locked. We can get uh, ranging information. He's 24.6 nautical mile from us. We've got a closure rate of 690 knots combined airspeed. So my airspeed plus his airspeed equals that number there. Uh, we've got his direction of travel, this little arrow here. Okay, so he's flying slightly to our left, but pretty much head on. And then right here this little notch on the inside of the circle this is our range for the missile okay and we've got a couple of carrots or triangles here three triangles so the first triangle right there that's our max range for our m120 shot so as soon as this gets into that uh go ahead and pause again as soon as this gets into that little first triangle we're going to have a shoot cue is going to pop up here okay so you'll see it'll say shoot boom so we're effectively in range here now, if I move this aiming dot out of the circle here, the shoot cue goes away. So this dot here, you want to put it into this circle to give you the best, let me just lost in there, because our radar has dropped down. So now we're, at, we're going to bump up the radar again. There we go, we got him again, and press on him, 15 nautical mile. <clears throat> Let's pause again. So as, that's our max range. This one here is the no escape range. So you want to, you essentially want to fire your AIM-120 or any missile between the uh, no escape range and the minimum, our min range okay, for the missile. So as soon as this notch gets in between this and this, that's the optimum time to fire to get a kill shot. Okay, you can shoot from outside of range, um, but it's more going to be more of a posturing shot. So once this gets into that second triangle, we're going to go ahead and take a shot. So let's maneuver in again. So we're 11 mile out now. So now it's flashing shoot. Okay, so now we're within uh, arm or, or sorry, the uh, the no escape zone. We've got a better chance of hitting him now. So what we want to do, we're still in LTWS. We're going to go ahead and press TDC to press again. And we're going to hard lock him. So now we've got an STT lock. Okay. So we're going to go ahead now and fire. So the old mate is getting a, uh, a missile warning or a missile lock. So old mate is getting a a radar lock from us and he's dead now. Okay. So let's go ahead and find this other guy. All right. So let's slew our radar down. There he is. Okay, so we're on this guy here, so we've got him on L twist, so you've got to press it twice. Okay, we've got him once, press it again, now we're in STT lock, so you see our radar is purely looking at this guy and this guy alone. I'm going to go swoop on down and shoot a A9X at him. Alright, so we're pulling in, we've got the shoot cue, and box two, and that's a splish splash, old mate's dead. All right, so to use your radar properly, you need to have that radar elevation. Make sure your radar elevation is at the correct altitude for the bandit. Lock them up uh, with at least l -twist. so press T, target designate controller, lock once to soft lock them, and then press it again to STT lock. So the difference between those two, once again, if you press it once and they're in l -twist, latent track while scan they don't know you've got them locked okay they don't know you've got them locked so they will, their RWI will be exactly like this it won't be making a single sound at all as soon as you press it on them again and it goes to an STT lock their RWR is going to start beeping at them and it's going to say an 18 is locking them up okay so they're going to get notified so range while scan you want to ideally use uh, an STT lock when you shoot your missile so what you can do is you can find a target, lock them up in latent trackball scan, l twist the first TDC to press as you're cruising in, so you don't want to give away that you're, uh, you're locking them. And then when you get within range, lock them up properly and fire the missile, okay? So that is, in a nutshell, how you use range while scan. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Go through TWS. Peace.